happy Saturday. Good to Morgan. Oh, what a dark. I uh, hope you're all well. I hope you've all had a very good week. Um, I think in England, this was the first week that you could go out down the old boozer, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, the boozer, yeah. With, they with could, it. So, a lot of people border hopping. Yes, they were. because you could also border hop. And for us, I think, because we live yeah. right on the border, it's quite a big thing to be able to go between. I know you've been doing it for work and stuff, but yeah, I popped over to see a friend this week and had a coffee and a sausage mock muffin. That was exciting. And it was within my calorie counting, so that's good. On that note, I've lost a pound this week. Congratulations. Thank you, Chris. Also, two very exciting things have happened to me this week, which as you will have seen if you've watched our vlogs, uh, nothing ex has happened that's exciting to me. I'm so excited I can't even speak. So we both had our jabs, didn't we? We did. We are now vaccinated with the AstraZeneca. Chris had his Wednesday, I had mine Thursday. Chris didn't follow the advice that he was given, which was to start no, taking... I, I got I got advice before I went. And didn't, do, didn't take by, it. By someone that... Yeah, yeah. From someone from Israel, which would have been really good advice yeah. to take, but I so, didn't do it. So what was that advice? Uh, that advice was to uh, take paracetamol the night before, and then take paracetamol during the day, before and after, um, all the way through, which I didn't do. I did. So, so it affects people in different ways anyway, so some people does, have had nothing, some people have had more yeah. and stuff like that, so... But, um, yeah. yeah, you didn't feel the best, did you, Wednesday night or Thursday day? No, middle, middle of the night felt really awful, and then yeah. went, uh, went to work and then came home in the afternoon, so I just yeah. like, knackered, so... Um, I, as Chris said, took my paracetamol. This will be the biggest smile of the day, this, isn't it? <laughs> and, um, yeah, then when I was about to be jabbed, the doctor who gave me the jab also said... That was Doctor Who, by the way. Doctor Who, that yeah. That's for Jay, Doctor Who. Um, and he said to me, take, keep taking the paracetamol every four hours, also start taking ibuprofen every four hours, so, but with two hour gaps, so your body has constantly got... Drugs. Drugs in, in it. Um, I have had zero symptoms. I haven't even had a sore arm, have I? Not a thing. She nearly had one when she told me that she had any symptoms. <laughs> yeah, no. not a thing. Now, I don't know if that's just my superior genetics. <laughs> Thank you, Peter and Leslie. Um, or whether it is... The... We'll, get a, we'll get a comment from Peter now, as we mentioned. Yes. Um, or, um, or whether it's just because I took the ibuprofen and paracetamol, or whether it's just that's because how I am anyway. I'm a bit jammy in that way, so we don't know, but... I was, because we stayed up really late Thursday night, didn't we? You were waiting for it, weren't Like you? half eleven midnight, I think Anxiety almost. for the roof. Yeah, waiting for like the cold sweats and the body aches to come and they... Nothing. They didn't. So that was all good. So that was all good. Thanks for cutting me off on that, Chris. That's all right. Um, second most exciting thing, I'm going back to work. Yay! Next, uh, next Tuesday. So I will have done three days when this comes out um, for sort of inductions and getting back into stuff. And then I um, sort of staggered return then um so yeah so really excited really pleased um yeah to kind of get mm. back on it isn't it yeah no it's all good no, i just didn't like the angle change it up a little bit oh, oh god there we go. sorry i better do that better there we go <laughs> so yeah so that was last week so that was very good yeah. this weekend it's all six of us which is nice um we had a bit of a lazy morning to be honest it's yeah. just gone 11 a lovely glorious sunny day though a bit chilly so we're gonna get some washing out on the line you know now the kids are back to school got the old school uniforms oh god it's just gonna be so short there we go look yeah. we're both in it now my arm's still aching i can't help the camera oh well let me take over chris my superior arms yeah um yeah so today we're going up to my dad's to um have some lunch sort of sit in the garden he's got a really lovely big garden so the kids can run around and burn off some energy mm -hmm. um, and have a change of four walls which is nice um come back <laughs> and then who knows what's happening for the rest of the weekend, so weekend. Kids, are, kids will probably have a movie evening in yep. lounge tonight if they all behave yep um, um what else yeah i mean we've been we've been watching mm. chia's ears haven't we yeah yeah Brilliant. um well, and i've linked that below now in our who we watch on youtube and stuff i've linked their channel below we've watched it for ages but we i've kind of got into more weekend and then we've just started watching um a couple of their disney's from a, we watched yeah. one of them a while back and we just we're into another yeah. one as we're halfway through a, a, yeah. a, another one really enjoying really those um yeah what else have we done we watched um despicable three didn't we when they went back to alton towers yeah um, because we, well, myself and my brother and Erin and Liam are going to go to Alton Towers sort of June time, doing the sun vouchers, if anybody's doing that as well. So, um, because Erin and Liam haven't really done 
theme park that Erin's done Legoland and Peppa Pig, but I don't think that really counts, does it? So well, we're gonna try them out. I find some of those Peppa Pig rides are quite exhilarating. <laughs> quite intense. <laughs> Most so definitely. yeah, so um, so yeah, so we watched that and we thought it's a bit of a weird one, wasn't it? Because it was snowing and stuff on the day that it was a weird one. It was a weird one. It was a weird first day. I think they, they were so a joy to be back in. They're, they're proper theme park people, aren't yeah. they? Um, but I think if you travel to go there on that day, I think it would have been a little bit yeah. disappointing because there weren't a lot of rides open. But that's the world opening up and stuff like that. Yeah, so. definitely. So it's all good. So, so um, yeah, so what else have we been watching? I haven't really watched anything else this week, have we? Um, watch a lot. We've got Line of Duty, obviously, tomorrow night. Oh, God, that's just cliffhanger every week oh. now, isn't it? Oh, God, Line of good. Duty. But yeah, that's probably the only. That's the only one now, isn't it? Because Unforgotten's finished. Yeah. It looks like that detective's program we were watching. Oh, 24 finished. hours of police custody. Oh, yeah, I love that. That was weird last week, wasn't it? Yeah, very strange one. Mm, that's, that's always good. That's always a good watch. I, as do well. this, I do this and I blink a lot. I've been watching the videos and I blink a lot. I don't know why. Oh, don't you know you if like I just blinking? naturally blink. You're like Helen from Big Brother. <laughs> oh. Dev is a bird, isn't it? I love blinking. Um, I so, yes, yeah, so we're after my dad's and then who knows what will happen. We yeah. tried, um, Chris had a look to see if we could get a too good to go. No one left. No. But I've, had, so I've, I've heard people that have um, had poor ones, oh. but I've heard some people that have had absolutely fantastic ones. Mm. And um, M&S at BP Garages is now, are now on there in certain areas, and I think M&S, oh, whoops, whoopsies, at the end of the day would be mm. a good one. But get poor and we're still like Spa and uh, Greg's. That's our option, so I think we'll if, you're in, if you're in more of a city location, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we'll get more. Yeah, definitely. But all good. So yeah, so we will catch up with you in a bit. So we're pretty much in a third of the video just in this, so... Well, Excellent Dennis. times. Bye. Let's <laughs> wait for high five. Okay, so you will, um, I can't remember if you remember or not, but anyway, for Christmas, Erin got me coffee seeds, because we all know how much I love a good coffee. And uh, I just haven't got around to planting them. Alex and, me, Alex and Ollie got me the really nice sort of Epcot, Epcot, I can't even speak, vibe mug. So... I'm gonna sort it today. Today is the day, people. So, it's so sunny. Hang on, let's wait for it to sort itself out, shall we? So, I've got to soak the seeds for 24 hours. So, um, let me get the seeds out. I'll show you what they look like, and um, I shall sow them. Okay, so these are the seeds. They're much bigger than I thought they were gonna be, but obviously they're coffee beans, aren't they? Um, so yeah, so there they are. Soaking away, so we'll leave those, and um, Come back to them tomorrow ready to plant how exciting and she got them i think did you get these on etsy or yeah yeah from etsy so easy grow seeds coffee 100 percent organic untreated seeds there's 20 fresh seeds that look like 20 i'm not gonna stand and count it but yeah so i'll put the link below to where she got them from and uh, we'll carry on tomorrow so we're just about to set off for my dad's and Liam has got himself ready. As I said, the kid's gonna play in the garden. So um, he's just gone to get a few bits to put in his bag and here he is, bear with. Look at this cool dude, ready for the day. He's got his Jurassic rucksack, he's got his water, got his shades on. Are you gonna do a cool dude pose? There he is. I like to do that. <laughs> Happy Friday. We've missed a few days, I think you'll find. Um, yes, it is, it's Friday. It's not Monday, Tuesday, Sunday, whatever day. Um, yeah, so Saturday, we went to my dad's, which was so nice. Um, he did a lovely spread, a little cheeky cheese board, and sat in the garden, had such a nice chat with him and Linda and saw David. Um, who's that my half-brother um, kids played in the garden for hours played with the dog played with the turkey don't ask it is an actual real-life turkey um, so yes yeah, so we came home then about three-ish four-ish I think um, and we were shattered you know we just don't socialize and talk to people like that anymore and um yeah the sun was so hot it was so nice it was such a nice saturday day so we came home had a really boring tea and then chris and i, I think watched youtube and that was saturday sunday i i've spoken before i think i spoke about it on my um sort of weight loss weekly vlog thing i did a couple of weeks ago about my anxiety i suffer with anxiety it comes and goes 
Um, I know the reasons behind it, so I don't take any medication. I haven't um, ever sort of, I've done therapy a few times, but I just feel like I talk through stuff that I already know. So for me, it just isn't something that I kind of do. Um, so yes, yeah, so send up, sorry about that, a bit shaky. Sunday, I didn't feel great. Um, so that can sometimes have quite a bit of an impact on sort of, not the house, but how I am. And obviously I drive quite a lot of the blog footage and sort of content and stuff. So yeah, Sunday was a bit of a write off really. Kind of touching on some bits, you know, we are obviously a blended family. Last weekend was a six person blended family weekend. And it's really hard, you know, if anybody is in a blended family, it's not easy, you know, it's, um, obviously you've got, for us, we've got three sets of parents to take into account. We've got four kids of different ages with different needs. Um, you know, Chris and I have been together now sort of four and a half years just coming up for, and yeah, it's just really difficult. You know, you've got what life was like before at the other houses and what you did, and then you're trying to bring bits of that in and the other parents have different ideas and yeah just all around it's it's not easy and Sunday was one of those days where my anxiety wasn't great obviously I was going back to work um it's Friday as I said I'm going to start my working day in a couple of minutes which is very exciting and yeah sometimes I just find all six of us and what that brings and and just blended family life quite difficult at times so you know if any of our subscribers, viewers out there ever want to reach out and talk to me about blended families, please do. We've got some hints and tips now of how we deal with things, but sometimes they can just be a bit overwhelming. So Sunday was not a great day for me, so we didn't vlog. There is no day two to this vlog. It's the shortest vlog we've ever done. Um, but the rest of this week has actually been really, really positive and really good. Um, got back on um, calorie counting, so the last two weeks I've lost two and a half pounds, um, did my walks, did weights, Tuesday I finally went back to the office after 385 days on furlough, so nice to see people have adult conversations, brain was in overload of stuff to do, and then yesterday and today I've done sort of online conference slash training, so yeah, again, more today, um, so yeah, it's been really good and I feel like I'm getting back to me and who I am. So um, it is Friday. Uh, last night, as I said, I did Zoom all day. I take my hat off to those that have been doing Zoom for a whole year. Oh my God, my brain was like meh. Um, and so Chris, he's been, you know, as we say, we both work in hotels. We're all ramping up to the 17th of May when hospitality can open in England. Um, and... We're knackered and he'd done a long day, I'd done a long day and we were like, I can't bother to cook. So we went for a really nice long walk, like 6K, and then we had a dirty Domino's. And I actually felt terrible. So I'm not doing that again. And for another couple of months and then I'll go, ooh, let's have a dirty Domino's. But yeah, so we had a dirty Domino's, which was naughty. But sometimes you've got to do this stuff, haven't you? So, um, yeah, we didn't have any kids last night. Um, so this morning, Chris left for work just before seven, made me... A cup of coffee in bed which was very nice and then I got up and I've done 40 minutes of weights and sort of light aerobic exercise had a bath got myself up got ready had breakfast and here I am ready to go really nice start to the day um, and I want to make sure that now I am back at work I'm still carrying on with the calorie counting and fitting in exercise and stuff like that so yes yeah, so we're all ready for Friday day Apologies that the vlog is a bit weird this week, but hey ho, that's life, isn't it? Next weekend is back to normal, service will be resumed. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll do this all by myself now, so Christ knows what's going to happen. Uh, will I get it right? Um, please subscribe to the Welsh Christopher Robin on YouTube. Give us a thumbs up, click the notification bell. Please follow us on Instagram and hope you all have a really great week and look forward to seeing you again same time next week saturday at six o'clock bye